Hi everyone, today I would like to introduce another painter who is also one of my favorites, John Singer Sargent. Sargent is an American expat landscape artist and portraitist who was born in Florence and spent most of his life in Europe. I choose Sargent in particular because he is a great example of the main ingredients that make an artist successful and open doors now and then the skill to be in the right time at the right place, the importance of having outstanding social skills and connections and the market awareness of the artist. The statement may come as a surprise because it contradicts the popular notion of the starving artist genius who conquers the world using the cheer force of his or her talent. However, the history of art clearly shows that in addition to talent, these more pragmatic skills can make or break an artist. Let's take a closer look at what made Sargent the internationally renowned artist he became. To start with, Sargent's unusual upbringing has undoubtedly facilitated his career and allowed him to develop the skills he needed to succeed. His family moved around within Europe a lot, and as a result of his parents' nomadic lifestyle, he learned and became fluent in French, German, and Italian. His ability to speak these languages enabled him to grow his international network of friends and patrons. Another event that had a long-lasting impact on his career was his parents' decision to support his artistic ambitions and arrange for him to take lessons with a famous German-American artist, Carl Walsh. This was one of the key factors that later gained him admission to the Fine Arts Grand School in Paris, the leading art school in France at the time. While there, he met and became friends with heavyweight artists like Rodin, Degas, Whistler. Wow! And these friendships were pivotal to his later success. His American-born artist friends, for example, helped him to enter the Boston and New York's elite art circles. Wow, it was difficult at that time, which would not be accessible to him otherwise. This, in turn, led to commissions like the large-scale public library and the MFA murals in Boston, as well as the murals in the Widener Memorial Library at Harvard University. Sargent also knew how to use bad publicity to advance his career and boost his popularity. When he painted a portrait of Madame Gautreaux, a legendary Parisian beauty, which became to be known as Portrait of Madame X, I'm sure you know that, and exhibited the portrait in the Salon in 1884, the painting caused a massive scandal. Critics found it eccentric and erotic, and it provoked criticism for surgeons' indifference to conventions of pose, modeling and treatment of space. Nonetheless, it skyrocketed the reputation of the artist whose name was in every newspaper for a while. Another key skills that was instrumental in making him successful artist was Sargent's ability 
and more importantly, his willingness to paint in different genres and styles. His ability to adapt to what's on trend in the market and to his patron's preferences was a significant driver of his commercial success. From starting out as a talented portrait painter in all the stages of his career, he later focused on painting more lucrative and marketable murals and Italian landscapes. In her thought-provoking book, Rembrandt's Enterprise, Svetlana Alpers, an amazing art historian who specializes in Dutch Golden Age painting, a field she transformed with her book, The Art of Describing, back in the 1980s, argues compellingly and convincingly that Rembrandt largely succeeded thanks to his strong focus on the market and his clients and his ability to adapt to the emerging market trends. Hmm. The same can be said about Sargent, who built and maintained the great circles of influential friends, possessed great entrepreneurial skills, and had a high awareness of the market, and who often was in the right place at the right time. I hope you enjoyed my vlog today uh, and that it will inspire you to take a closer look at this incredibly talented artist. Thank you for being with me today.